We just sent you $2.4 million yesterday, Freedom Family, for all your hard work this month. We send you this every month and you can make 6.5% more money if you do one simple thing. This is a real transaction that I sent with PayPal. You can see the target was 136 pounds and when I sent it using the Freedom Bank transfer, it only cost me 176 US dollars instead of 188.92. This was a 6.5% savings. Where does the 6.5% savings come from? Well, it comes from the fees. PayPal charges almost $5 and Freedom Bank transfer has zero. Also, the Freedom Bank transfer has much better currency exchange rate than PayPal. Together, it's a 6.5% extra increase in money in your bank account should you be receiving pounds or any non-USD currency. So choose Freedom Bank Transfer in your Shiny Freedom Dashboard and get 6.5%-ish more money at the end of each month. The 110% revenue share that I announced is another way you can earn more money next month. Click that I to see this video in case you missed it, where I explained it's official, we will be paying 110% revenue share for all your videos featuring the games we publish. Watch that video to learn all the details. Another tip to earn more revenue is right behind me. Start your own blog. OVOB. One video, one blog. Every one of your videos should have a blog post. Why? You will get Google SEO traffic to your blog, not just YouTube SEO. You post on Facebook and Twitter, right? Why not your blog? How do you do it? you write compelling editorial text with screenshots. Do not just copy your YouTube description into your blog and call it a day. Add a subscribe button to build your blog subscribers just as you build YouTube subscribers. This is called mailing lists and email marketing. Your then email targeted newsletters to your blog sub subscribers to get more views. This is my own blog where I blogged about jumping out of a plane. The link is down there in the description below. Check it out and follow these steps so that you too can get more views and more revenue. Do you need help starting your own blog? We built a blogging platform. If you want, we can set up your blog for free as yourname.blog.tm. Let me give you some examples. This is george.blog.tm. This is my personal blog that I started using our own blogging platform. Here you can see we moved to Dubai. Freedom earned 10 million in our first year. And if you're interested in these blog posts, the link is down there in the description below to my blog or just head on over to george.blog.tm. Here is another blog, Big C's blog. This is at, you guessed it, bigc.blog.tm where he talks about tips on how to light, how to lighten dark footage easily using Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 and many other tips with screenshots on his blog. Do you blog Freedom Family? Tell us down there in the comments below your experience so we can all help each other grow together as a family and motivate ourselves to do things like blogging. And if you just need extra motivation, Anthony Smith has few words to share with you. But here's the thing, you have that day where you don't want to make a video. You have that day where you're feeling a little bit down. That I will let him take the George show over to give you that extra motivation in case you're down and need some pep to get up and make videos. Anthony, take it away my friend. Thank you George, I appreciate the handoff. Freedom! Today I wanted to talk to you about the importance of having hobbies and or side gigs as a content creator. Look, we've all been there. Hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands and millions of subscribers hanging on your every word. Wait, what's that? We haven't, we, we haven't all been there? <sighs> okay, so let me rephrase. I'm sure you've all been there, but me, I'm a little bit behind. But here's the thing. You have that day where you don't want to make a video. You have that day where you're feeling a little bit down, where you don't want to film, or you're in a, the mood to edit but not to film, or you're, you know, you're having some sort of an issue, a family emergency, whatever the case may be. And 
things just aren't working out for you. Maybe you love what you're doing, but there's just a sense of emptiness because what was once something that you did because you loved it, oh, now it's your job and you just feel like you're committed to it. And the only reason that you know, you're continuing on with it are because of the expectations placed on you by your fans, by your friends, by your family, by, you know, random strangers who want to come up to you and tell you how awesome that one video you made with Mentos and Pepsi was. Sorry, hold on. Diet Pepsi, I know. That right there, that feeling that, you know, what you're doing, you know, is more work than passion. That feeling where you feel like you're obligated to do it and it's not a treat to be able to do something that you love, that is what some people call burnout. And it can come from a lot of different places. We're not really necessarily gonna talk about burnout today, but I do totally wanna to talk about the importance of, well, like I said, having side gigs. These can even have to do with creating content. Maybe as a personal challenge, you decide, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to see how many times I can plug a fake sponsor before maybe somebody, you know, decides that they're gonna sponsor me for real. I'm, I'm not saying to claim that you were sponsored by Google or anything, um, but hey Google, you got my number. What I am saying is that maybe you wanna say, this video's been brought to you by that feeling that happens when you eat food and it burns the roof of your mouth. Yeah, that feeling right there. What I am saying is, you know, you can often challenge yourself and make that into sort of something that keeps things fresh. What I am saying is sometimes maybe the best thing for you to do is to find an interest outside of what you're currently doing. Maybe you make tech videos, but you're also an avid bird watcher and bird watching is like the best thing in the world for you. So there's a pretty good chance that your uh, tech audience may not totally understand your love of birds. And maybe that's a passion you don't wanna share with the world either because you don't think you could keep up with a channel based on that or what have you. But it is important to find things that you're passionate about, things that the people in your life are passionate about that you can share that don't have to do with your creating content. And I know there's like five of you out there that are under a million subscribers, so I'll speak to you as well. This is actually something that affects all of us. Creating content can become a grind. Over time, oh my goodness, and I know this is kind of a, high, a hot and spicy take, this might actually kind of feel like a job, like a work thing. So when it does, and trust me, eventually it will, if you're in the game long enough, you will look at something and you will go, oh, I have to play video games. And that's the moment. That's the moment right there where you're like, hold up, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I might need to maybe venture out into something else. Go back, go somewhere else, and then bring that positive energy back into what you're doing. Bring in that love, bring in that karma, whatever you gotta do. It's super important that when it comes to doing something that you love and that you're passionate about, that you don't lose that passion just because it becomes something that you also feel obligated to do. In the comments section down below, let me know of a time that this may have happened to you. Or maybe if you wanna get all pop culture-y, maybe you could also let me know of a time maybe this happened in like, you know, fiction or on TV or on fictional TV. Also, I would be super interested in hearing all of your ideas for also like keeping from burning out. Burning out is not just something that happens on YouTube. It's something that happens to a lot of us every single day. When something becomes a grind, when you know, you've just lost the passion for it, I get it. It's really easy to just kind of, just walk away and just being like, oh, come on. But here on YouTube, where we hashtag never give up, when you're creating content for yourself, your aunt, and that one guy down the road who accidentally subscribed when he handed you his phone. T total accident. When it's just the three of you, or it's just the three million of you, it is super important that you remember why you started doing this, what you love about it, and sometimes doing something else for just a split second, a hot minute. You know, call it a vacation, call it a staycation, Call it having a frickin' hobby. Whatever it takes. Personally, I feel it's super important for you to do that so that you can bring all of that love, all that energy, 
right back home and so that you don't end up in a situation where you absolutely hate the thing you love. Whew, okay, all right, that got deep. That got, that got deeper than I farts butts all right i think i successfully lightened the mood i hope that this video has been helpful for you if it has let us know in the comment section down below till next time don't forget to like subscribe and do all those things that absolutely positively make us love our jobs also be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other bye i hope you enjoyed this video click that eye to see the playlist of every episode of the george show in case you missed any and tell us down there in the comments below how you stay motivated. As Anthony was explaining, it's important to use the community around you, plug in to the people that support you whenever you're down. We are here to help. We are the Freedom Family, and we all help each other grow together as a family. And who am I? I am your Papa George. Blogging George, George Sunpai, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom! For Freedom and the Freedom Family, where we all help each other grow together as a family. And we keep getting exercise, right guys? I go swimming, I go cycling, I go to the gym regularly. What do you do? I'd love to know. Tell us down there in the comments below. I'd love to do a push-up challenge with you, Freedom Family. I used to do a push-up challenge with my friend Mike. Click that eye to see my video where I did 28 push-ups. Can you do 28 push-ups? Film it, prove it. Can you do 29? Send us links to your videos down there in the comments below. We'd love to see them. In the meantime, Click the like button if you like this video and subscribe to Freedom Central, home of The George Show, and gong that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Keep safe, stay healthy. I am George, and you've been watching The George Show. Ooh, you're dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more, George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.